we've still got some really big countries that haven't uh, signed the treaty and um, America, the United States being one of them. So or is, that, uh, is that a reluctance to give up our willingness to well, be able to use landmines or are there other reasons? It was clear we would have you know, some challenges, but the point of view of those of us who had fought for this issue was that it was way more important to get countries like Angola, countries like Cambodia, countries like Croatia, Bosnia, where mines were used in great numbers during their fighting, where mines were still kept in large stockpiles. Obviously, those are the countries that you want to target to get them on board, get them to destroy their stocks, begin getting the mines out of the ground, so that if they go to war again, they don't have mines to use. Now that you make this progress with uh, landmines, and then are there other people, or do you guys suddenly say, okay, what could be next? Is there another system of weapons that we could go after? Well, that's part of, you know, back to your question of why is the U.S. opposed. It was, not only is this our stuff, if we give in, and in their view, it's, it's like this contest. Yeah. If we give in to civil society, who knows what they're coming after next? Yeah, exactly. So they're concerned with the slippery slope, the precedent. They're not really concerned about landmines. Obviously, the U.S. military doesn't need landmines. Look at how we fight war. Shouldn't there be a little bit more adjustment from the almost, you know, however many trillion we now spend on war to provide drinking water to the two billion people on this planet who do not have fresh drinking yeah. water? Or provide a little bit of support for the more than one billion people on the planet who live on one dollar a day. You'd equalize the playing field a little bit so that you give people a stake in their own future. When the Nobel Committee recognized you as one of the winners of the Peace Prize, I think some of what they were accomplishing uh, and wanted to accomplish was to point out the idea that one person can change the world. There's nothing magical about change. It is getting up off your ass and caring enough to take the first step to contribute to change on an issue you care about. Anybody can do it if they just get up and take the first step yeah. and do the work. It's, it's work. It's not, it's not a magical vision for a better future. It's being the future you want to see.